I haven't eaten any of this yet. Did you want me to eat this? Or were we supposed to eat them I, together or something? But yeah, so you can, if you want to do like a little thing where you open it and eat it and like say what flavor it is and you can. But um, you can say some frost. Okay, I will. All right, cool. Thanks. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. Yeah, so she gave me this right here. It's flaming Hot Mystery Flavor. I don't know what flavor this is. I'm, I'm going to give this a try. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, man, this is nice. Look at all, look at all of this Red 40. Look at this. Look at this. Now, I'm going to taste this. I'm going to guess what flavor Dorito this is. It's like a flaming hot. It doesn't even taste that hot though, which is annoying. But the interesting thing about this is it's like, it's like sort of like creamy. It's got a mixture, it's got a mixture of like sour cream and maybe barbecue or something. I must say I've never had anything like this before. It's not that spicy either, which is sad. Maybe this is flaming hot, um, flaming hot honey barbecue. Flaming hot honey barbecue. Is that a thing? No. Flaming hot. Uh, um. Hold on. Flaming hot. Mystery flavor. I want to see if there's any info about what the mystery flavor is, because I am slightly befuddled. Karaya dude says loud keyboard. No, it's not loud. I just have a compressor set on my on my on my uh, on my microphone, so that it catches the sound of quiet things in the room. And the reason I do that, by the way, is so that. If I'm all the way over here. You still know what I'm saying. If I'm all the way over here, you still know what I'm saying. If I'm all the way over here, you still know what I'm saying. See, this is more than just marginally helpful and marginally practical. This is actually very cool. Of course, a side effect of that is when I hit something on the keyboard, then you hear it too. So hopefully that clears everything up. On that. But yeah, I, for the life of me, cannot pinpoint what this flaming Hot flavor is. I will say it certainly does not taste flaming Hot. Okay, here we go. Looks like some people in, 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 in um, on Reddit have started to figure this out and break it down. So it says here, my wife is thinking churro and my guess is chicken and waffles. <laughs> but yeah, it says, is it close to barbecue? How's the heat, heat mixed with the sweet? It's not as hot as you're still flaming hot. One of the sweetest chips you could ever have. The more I try it, I understand people who say coconut curry. Coconut curry? Tastes like flaming hot beef noodles. <laughs> I can see the noodle stuff because I think those noodles have like a bit of like butter and stuff there. My first thought was kettle corn, <laughs> but then I was like, why would they make flaming hot kettle corn? Seeing people in the comments referencing caramel as part of the potential flavor makes me kind of feel like I was on the right track. What is this? It's like licking... <laughs> I'm not going to read that one. 
is spicy chicken ramen. <laughs> People are getting answers all over the place. Wait, I want to watch this guy's review and see what he thinks. What? Is this is this recent? Okay, yeah, it's recent. And welcome to another episode of Carbs. The show we're sitting in the car and BS Walk and Subi Carbs. Mad Zion here. This, this is killed. What? What? <laughs> this came out of left field. Like, wow, what is going on with this? Found it at Walmart. I did see they announced it like a week ago. And I just, there was one bag. I was walking around Walmart about 30 minutes before they were going to close. And I saw it was not even in the right spot. Um, and it just caught my eye. I was like, oh, Black Doritos bag. And it was by the Lay's, and I was, and I looked around. And was, this is it. This is the only one. They didn't have anything else in there, so they, you know the ones they put out must have sold quick. Um, this is their flaming hot mystery flavor. What is this gonna be? Like, I'm very curious. Um, as you guys know, I'm not a big fan of flaming hot things. Uh, I can have a couple, but to me, the heat just builds too much to a point where it's uncomfortable. <laughs> and it's always good flavor, uh, but yeah, it's just a little too hot for me. I like, and my favorite Dorito of all time is just regular cheese Doritos, like the, the, the nacho cheese. I love those. I think they are a Mount Rushmore fantastic potato chip, or, or I guess, no, tortilla chip. Uh, but out of po potato chips and tortilla chips, put all, let's lump them all together. What is your Mount Rushmore? Oh, oh, what is that? <laughs> what is that? Oh, it smells, oh my God, what? It, I can't even place it. Dude, I wish I could give you like an idea. Do they even look a little weird? Like they're, they're thinner than the usual chips. I don't know, I couldn't tell you. I'm the worst when it comes to mystery stuff. Let's try it out. It has a weird smell though. It's almost like pineapple-y. But they already <laughs> no. did a pineapple one. It's like, they it's did all a jalapeno over the place. pineapple uh, Dorito, which was delicious. So I don't know if they would just maybe do that, but in flaming hot form? You know what? It smells burnt. It smells burnt. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, maybe this is flaming hot coals. Maybe, maybe that's the flavor. And call it mystery to get people excited. We'll see. What in the actual f is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's not horrendous. I'm still leaning towards like a little bit of a pineapple -y flavor, but the thing is, the flaming hot covers that up immediately. You put the chip in your mouth, and for like the first two seconds, it's just whatever that flavor is. And then all of a sudden, it's just flaming hot. That's it. It dominates the flavor entirely. There's not a lot of that in this though. I have no idea. Um, but I will say this too, 100% different texture on the chip. That is not a traditional Dorito. Look at how like thin it is. Yeah, this is not a normal Dorito any, by any means. It almost has the flavor of how grandma smells. <laughs> Okay, I did do a little deep diving <laughs> off your Instagram in the comments, and I think someone might have gotten it. It does taste like there's a little bit of like ginger in here. Mm-hmm. Like ginger root. That's what I was, because I was like, ginger. It's got like a staleness to it. And again, it smells like grandma. And I was like, yeah, anytime that we've done. <laughs> I love how like no one can understand what this flavor is. Listen, I heard Airheads mystery flavors just them trying to get rid of leftovers. I wonder if Doritos are doing the same thing. I mean, the only thing is, like, this is actually a little bit spicy. So it's not like something that's just old, right? This is like a legit thing. The way you described it, Szechuan comes to mind. Huh. Humpty Dumpty Barbecue Crunchy Cheeto Noodles Late Night Hamburger Cape Cod. <laughs> what are these names? Street corn. Yeah, there's a bit of that in there too. Man, this just had me so confused and befuddled. Look, if any of you guys are watching this, leave uh, leave a comment down below and let me know. Like, what in the world do you think that this is? I, I frankly don't know. Now, if you want to ask me, is this good? Which is a completely different question. I'd say it's all right. It's kind of in the area where I wouldn't say that it's bad, but at the same time, I don't know what flavor of Doritos I would rather have this than. 
Like I think any other flavor of Doritos, I would rather eat than this. So I am definitely going to save this for my siblings so they can deal with whatever remains of this. But uh, this, that, was, that was an interesting uh, decision here to make this. I, I can't say that uh, I can't say that I have many words. <laughs> that was borderline bizarre. But quite fun to try, I must say. Gotta give him that.